If you were given a choice to either have money or friends, which would you choose? Can you even choose? This is a battle Yuichi constantly goes through. You see, thinking like Yuichi is dangerous and requires you to let go of your very sanity. I do not advise anyone to imitate or replicate this guy's behavior. This is purely for entertainment purposes. Viewer discretion is advised. In this video, I'll be taking you on a journey into the mind of one of the most darkest and sinister characters in anime. And we'll be using principles from a book called The Psychopath Inside, written by a neuroscientist called James Fallen, to gain a better understanding of Yuichi's actions. So without further ado, let's get it. Who is Yuichi? Why do many characters describe him as evil or a monster? But more importantly, how do you think like him? But before we can answer any of these questions, we first need to understand the nature of his personality. You'll often hear people use the words sociopath and psychopath interchangeably to describe Yuichi's personality. Wait, ain't that the same thing? Nah bro, they're actually not. A sociopath is an unofficial term to describe a person who has antisocial personality disorder, which is a condition that affects how a person thinks, feels, and behaves. And psychopathy is not even an official diagnosis, but rather a set of personality traits and behaviors frequently associated with lack of emotional sensitivity and empathy. However, both share similar traits such as aggression and lack of remorse, and both can occur due to genetic and environmental factors. So which does Yuichi fall under? This is very difficult to determine because both share very similar traits. However, psychopaths traits tend to be more severe than those of a sociopath. And the key difference between a psychopath and a sociopath is the lack of a conscience. Hold up, what's that? A conscience is that little voice in your head that lets you know when you're doing something wrong. Based on an article by Cara Mayer Robinson, a psychopath doesn't have a conscience and a sociopath typically has a conscience but it's weaker than normal. So the big question here is does Yuichi have a conscience? Let's look at a few scenarios to try and determine this. In episode 9 on the third Tomodachi game, Yuichi and Maria have put a plan in motion to get food to Tenji who hasn't eaten in days. Yuichi then uses Maria to exploit Yakutaru's naive nature of always being nice to girls in order to split up group K and finally get an opening to run to Tenji's help. Yakutaru and Chisato obviously chase after him, but Yuichi already anticipated that they would obviously be faster than him. They are athletes after all. So you know what he does? He pushes Maria off a freaking cliff. Bro, this guy is crazy. When Maria confronts him in episode 11, he mentions that he already knew that she works for management and that he didn't even feel the least bit guilty about it. Alright, let's fast forward to the end of episode 11. Tenji called Yuichi a good person for not destroying Group K's friendship. But we get to listen in on Yuichi's thoughts. And he himself mentions that if Juzo never pushed the give up button when he did, he would have actually broke Yakutaru's finger and that the old him would have done it in a heartbeat. This tells us that he wasn't even thinking about Yakutaru's well-being or the friendship of Group K, but rather he is trying not to lose the battle to the much evil version of himself. We'll get more into this old version of himself which he refers to in a separate video, but basically these two examples already prove that Yuichi has no conscience. And in my opinion, Yuichi is a psychopath, but I'm really interested to see what you guys think about this. Do you think Yuichi is a psychopath or a sociopath? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so what caused Yuichi to be this way? James Fallon mentions in his book that psychopathy is inborn, but to become a full-blown antisocial psychopath, you also need a very bad 
childhood. Now, if we refer back to Yuichi's childhood and upbringing, you'll find that he has no idea who his real parents are. And he was raised by his adopted mother, Yuka Katagiri, who worked as a prostitute to make money. She was also the one who taught Yuichi that friends are the most important thing in the world. But he also had a father figure by the name Shiba Taizen, who seemed to be some sort of con artist that taught Yuichi various psychoanalytic techniques and mentalist tricks. Even though these lessons have become very useful to him now, Yuichi absolutely despises Taizen and even calls him a devil. And to make matters worse, we later find out that Yuichi has murdered three people already and he's only 17. Oh my gosh! Yeah, clearly Yuichi had a very traumatic childhood. And yes, picking up on psychopathy symptoms is not as simple as analyzing one's bad childhood, but it is a great place to start. In fact, I'd like to quote something Fallon says in his book. He says, I see psychopathy like others see art. I can't define it, but I know it when I see it. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks like a psychopath to me. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to warm and smash that like button. It helps get the video out to more people and I'd truly appreciate it. Yuichi lives in what may be defined as a flat emotional playing field, which basically means he lacks emotional empathy. Hold up nigga, I thought he really cares about his friends. Well, yes and no. You see, Fallon mentions in his book that psychopaths lack emotional empathy but have what he calls theory of mind, which is basically cognitive empathy. He defines this cognitive empathy as a system that allows us to consider others' thoughts and beliefs. But since psychopaths lack emotional empathy, their cognitive empathy is often enhanced, allowing them to appear appear as if they care for someone, but actually they just really good at guessing how you feel in a more calculated way rather than sympathizing with you, allowing them to execute predatory behaviors more effectively. Yuichi actually mentioned something very crucial about his beliefs on friendship in episode 6. At the end of the second game, when he reveals that he murdered three people, his friends seem to distance themselves from him out of fear. Yuichi, you killer! Yuichi Yuichi then mentions that he doesn't need them and that he can actually show his true self now. We even get a small peek into his thoughts where Yuichi mentions that he still doesn't understand why his mom believed friends were so important and that he only followed her principle that friends mean more than anything out of love for her and not because he actually believed it was true. This proves that Yuichi never truly cared for his friends. He's only honoring his late mother's wishes. The real Yuichi only cares about winning. I know this may not be easy to identify this early on into the anime, but it's very clearly depicted in the manga, which we may dive into if that's what you guys want. Yuichi is a true agent of chaos. He lacks remorse and finds pleasure in others' suffering. His unpredictability coupled with his unsettling smile give off the true essence of a crazed psychopath. But that's all we've got time for today. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, be sure to warm and smash that like button and subscribe to join the Spartan army. And until next time guys. Yo, before you guys leave, I just wanted to take this time to thank and appreciate every single one of you Spartans, all the OGs, all the ones that Warhammer smash that like button on every single video. Thank you to everyone who comments and shares the videos. I really appreciate you. I read every single one of your comments and I just ask that you please continue supporting the channel. This was honestly only possible because of you guys and I know this community will achieve great things. Alright, back to the grind. Peace.